What's up guys? I'm just out here driving out in the orchard, just cruising around. Oh look. That California farmer? What are you doing out here? Oh just checking on checking on almonds, waiting for my nuts to dry. Oh. Huh. How's the drying coming along? Been slow, but it's coming along. That'd be good. You know, I've kind of realized. What's that? The only time you're in my videos is when we're working on the truck. It's true. Want to work on the truck? Let's do it. All right. Well, like we just said, we're finally gonna get back to work on this bad boy. Um, yeah, sorry it's been a long wait. We have been busy just in the orchard. We're uh, just doing harvest right now, kinda in the tailing end of it. So we finally got some time to work on the truck and uh, yeah, we're gonna take advantage of it. So what we need to get done is we need to raise the engine an inch um, just so we have more clearance down there from the oil pan. And then we need to figure out what we want to do with the clearance issues here. So right now it's like an inch and a half off the ground and I would like at least another inch and a half or more if possible. So we're gonna figure out if we either need to get different leaf springs. Um, I think we're gonna try and maybe take two or three leaves out and that will raise it a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're actually gonna go to the shop that we got the U-bolts from and see what their opinion is on it. But yeah, no, I'm excited to get going on this. I know you guys are too. There's been a lot of you guys asking about it. So we're finally here. So let's get going. So what we're going to be doing for the motor mounts, we have these pieces of, this is a two and a half by two and a half, and this is a one by two, I believe. Um, the wooden blocks that we have for spacers in the rear are an inch and a half. So this two and a half block will bring us to the height we need here, and then we're just going to add that one by two in the front here. <laughs> and that will give us the inch height so yeah that's the first move we're gonna do
So we got our spacer in there. Fit good. I think it'll work. We will, or Ryan's running to the hardware store and getting longer bolts. And then I'm going to be making the rear mount spacers. So yeah, we already have this wooden block here that we were just using for a temporary spacer. So we're gonna take this two and a half by two and a half square tubing, cut it, and then we can use spacer there. So I'm gonna be drilling holes in that and then we can throw it in. Well, got the mounts in. Put us right where we need to be. There's the front. And then the most exciting part. Look at that oil pan clearance. Perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah, motor mounts are done. Now we need to move on to the front axle and figure out what we're gonna do there. We'll probably do that tomorrow because we're gonna run to a shop that does spring work and get their opinion on different options we can do. Because personally, if, personally I would like if possible to just get one thick or maybe two thicker springs and take out all of those then that would give us a lot of ground clearance and then we would be set to go so we'll go look into that see what it'll cost and see if it's even an option and go from there so we'll get back with the working tomorrow <laughs> 